Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna. And look what I found. I went and traveled a little bit uh, southwest of home. Uh, basically, I am I am scrolling. Yes, I am going out of my way trying to find some new resources that we need when I encountered this fella. Yeah, the survival good trader. Uh, his name is Sprig. How you doing, Sprig? <laughs> Yeah, got anything to trade? Oh yeah. What did I spot over here? Four linen sacks. Well, actually he has seven, but uh, I think it is high time for an upgrade. So uh, yeah, first of all, before I can buy any of these, I think I need to empty up a little bit of inventory space. Let's uh, slap those resins in here. This uh, mining bag can go in here for now, and that should be good. I mean, as I buy from him, I'm gonna get some more in Can you please stop it? So as I was saying, as I buy, I'm going to get some more inventory space. So let's buy it all. So all I need to do is replace uh, all of these bags. Uh, yeah, first of all, before I do that, I should empty out everything uh, as much as possible into the fourth slot. And there's one part. And let's just trade in for that last one. So what do I do with these uh, empty... Can you please get out of my way, sir? Yeah. So what do I do with these empty baskets? Well, you know what? I think I might just chug them. I don't think I'll be needing those anymore. And seriously, they're just going to be taking room in my inventory. But I do see a massive upgrade now. And the other thing this person was selling is, uh, yeah, you got some pretty nice bows over here. The black bronze arrows uh, seem to be the one doing the most damage. So I'll buy four. I mean, I do have the gears, so might as well splurge a little bit. Now, wait a second. Oh, supplies three. Okay, you know, sorry about that. Ah, uh, he's all out of it. Uh, the, you know what? I'm okay with this. At least we got some good quality arrows with only a break chance of 10%, which is a great improvement. And the last thing that I spotted here was some quick lime. I am going to need that. I am going to need that. Let's buy a stack. And with this, we should be able to start producing leather. You know what? Let's go for another stack. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stick it inside of the basket and uh, we'll just chug that along with us. And let's put this back on our back. So basically, I was out and around. I wanted to go and explore a little bit, try and locate some new ruins, and maybe find a location to actually collect ourselves uh, some uh, lime or chalk or any anything of the sort. We need to find our own source. I mean, I could buy from this dude all the time, but uh, it's we still need to find our location. While we're at it, we're gonna pick up all the flax that we can. Flax is gonna be needed, always. So basically all I'm doing is wandering in the southwestern general direction, kind of exploring, trying to locate uh, wolves. No, I'm not trying to locate wolves. I'm trying to avoid the freaking wolves. Let's uh, jump across over here and uh, see if we can run away from it. Okay, well that little sucker isn't following. Now we seem to have a big shadow anomaly over there yeah that is a, a bug that has started happening i mean basically it's pitch black but uh, it, it's not supposed to be pitch black there is something wrong a few anomalies in the game and uh, that can be it oh look at that let's avoid the oh crap well that is a hell of a drop um uh, freaking hell i don't think i can jump that without breaking the leg Anywho, yeah, we have quite a quite a nice view over here. It looks quite lovely. And uh, I am going to have to find myself a little way down from here. Now it is time to look at the map. And by looking at the map, you can often see some very obvious anomalies. Like over here, there simply has to be something right there. So we'll head in a general western direction. Well, I spotted this in the distance. It's not exactly what I was going for at first. Uh, here we have some growing rye. Yeah, I just wanted to look at this place. We got some seeds, which uh, seems to be carrot seeds and seven at, at that. That's pretty good. 
So aside from that, we got ruined braziers. Uh, we got a granite cobblestone slab. What is what is this thing on top of it? Okay. Is there uh, anything we can do with that? A tarnished iron support beam. Now, can we even destroy that thing? That is a question. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Tarnished iron support beam. Material wood burn temperature. <laughs> well, okay. There's something weird with that. I don't know what is the point of this thing. I can see you. And uh, I, I don't think I want to bring that home. It seems like maybe a, a bug in a mod or something. I have no clue. Anyways, let's continue. Let's go look at that other thing that I spotted on the map earlier. Huh, look at that. More flax. Uh, yeah. Okay, a little bit more twine. Uh, yeah, I, I need so much more. So much more than that. And here it is. Looks like it's made of andesite. And we got also some ancient pillars amongst all that. Hmm. And we got a farming thing over here with some arrows. And we got some cabbage seeds, which uh, we'll be able to plant in our garden. And what is in here? More seeds. And these are soybeans. Oh, sweet. I think I'll take these uh, ancient pillars with me. Those could always uh, come in handy in uh, buildings. It looks quite nice. It looks quite clean. Let's just grab them. As for the rest of this, uh, these andesite blocks will leave here. And here's an another little sweet thing that I found. Bauxite. And an oil lamp. I will gladly take the oil lamp. As for the bauxite, if... I... What is this? A bowl of water? <laughs> it's funny. As for the bauxite, I don't think I'll pick it up just yet. Eventually, I will find a biome that has bauxite. And we have ourselves a tuning cylinder. Sweet. And what do we have in here? Forlorn hope. Greaves. Ooh. That is a good find. And a gold sheet. Two of them. That is amazing. And a copper ingot. You know what? I shall take the copper ing- You get out. Shoot. Be gone. Yeah. So that is a pretty good find just by squirreling. And uh, my inventory is almost already full. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Anyways, let's go and keep exploring a little bit more. Okay, I got over here and I was hearing some water. And I can clearly see that it's from down here. I think we can clearly jump down here, collect this uh, gear, and instead of uh, wasting ladders, I will, you know, already put up uh, an escape route, just in case I need to make a, a quick escape. Now, while I am here, I'm going to check out the stones over here, see what kind of minerals lies beneath. Oh, great. The growlings have started already. And we got some native copper, hematite, cinnabar, sphalerite, bismuthonite, and cassiterite. Very poor amount of... But there seems to be a lot of everything. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Yeah. Could you please not bug me while I'm exploring down here? Ouch. That freaking hurt. Hello, Flax Biber is always welcome. So I want to check out this area first. Yeah, as you can see, this is where the waterfall is. I don't want to go too far because, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to come back up. And I clearly saw that there was a drifter down there. But it is an interesting place. And on the other side, well, there just seems to be drifters. And that's freaking it. I am out of here. I am not staying to play with you guys. You're playing too rough. Ooh. Look at that, this is where I was, and this is a, a, a new place. I'm gonna go check that out. That seems to be very, very promising indeed. Ooh, okay, wolves probably in the area. Wow, will you look at that. That is a massive ruin. And there are windows in here. Ooh, I want those. I want the windows. Stupid, but I do have the room in my inventory. I have one slot. <laughs> Let's try and uh, get as many as we can. And this seems to be... Uh, what? 
leather? Uh, pelt. Medium pelts. Ugh. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to do something about this. I gotta empty out my inventory a little bit. Obsidian ho, see you later. Let's bring out the chest and see what we can uh, keep or throw away in here. Well, there is obviously this uh, gear I can throw in there. Let's just leave that there and we'll check it out a little later. Okay, this one has uh, some parts in it. Yeah, aside from that, let's slowly approach. Let's uh, look around very carefully. And uh, yeah, I'm hearing growling. That's not good. Age wooden planks. Very interesting. This is this is all brown coal. Well, yeah, it's all stacked. Very cool. Are you done? Okay. <laughs> Let's just keep on checking. Yeah, I think there's uh, probably some stuff underneath. Oh yeah. The growling is coming from down there. I'll go check that afterwards, if I deem it safe enough. Uh, two rusty gears. Let's grab those. Oh, crap! Oh, no, they're all over the place. They are all over the place. What is this? This isn't a temporal storm? Okay, so, uh, yeah, cautious. Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta be even more cautious. Oh, and we got some of these guys. The bronze locusts. Those are not a problem. It's the other ones that are a problem. Yeah, these are high-tier uh, drifters. I don't want to be messing with those. These are level four. Let's go and run around and maybe I can uh, lose them. Okay, uh, I, I think I've kind of lost them slightly. <laughs> maybe I can run on top. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. These little bastards are everywhere, throwing stones at me. That's very rude. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I've been trying to run around and uh, avoid them, but they just always seem to come back. It is kind of hard to navigate here and uh, trying to avoid them at the same time. I mean, it is a beautiful ruin, except I don't have the armor to uh, face these little buggers. Oh, what is up here? Okay. Um, yeah. It's this here I'm wondering about. Maybe I can stack some blocks here and I can get a little higher. Oh, nice. Uh, a sandstone fence. But I think there's something under there burning. A blue clay chimney lit. Oh, well, really? Well, that gives me an idea for home. Can I actually bring that? Let me, let me try and grab this. Oh yeah, I can bring it. I can bring it. Even if I don't uh, really have it uh, sticking out, I could maybe hide it inside and still have the uh, chimney effect. Now over here, uh, carrot seeds. Now sadly, golden treasure chests. I don't have room to bring that. And there seems to be another one on the other side. This one is a simple owl treasure chest. And it's got a painting inside. You know what, I'll leave it there for now. Ooh, more gears. I'll grab those. And I am going to have to uh, end my little journey in this place soon. So we got another little fireplace, and there is a whole underground area over here. Now, I already looked at this. Uh, yeah, we got some lime troughs and uh, maybe a few more knickknacks left and right. I don't want to mess around with that. I don't have any more room. Yeah, and this is going to be a trip for another time. Eventually, when I have some better equipment, I should come back here and try and go underneath and see what's what. Holy crap, these wolves are all synced up. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, right now, I'm trying to locate uh, where I put my basket. I'm just trying to grab it and get the hell out of here. Uh, before I meet if, with a very unfortunate fate. And there it is. All right, let's grab the basket and let's get out of here. And uh, as for you there, little feather thing, there you go, come back into my inventory. Now, as much as I would have loved to, I would have loved to squirrel for a lot longer, but apparently inventory space is always very limiting. Look at, look at this, all, all more ruins to explore. Uh, maybe not a big one, but uh, probably there's something interesting underneath. There's no point in looking right now. Ah, finally. Home sweet home. How are these uh, little pumpkins going? Well, 
I basically just uh, planted them, so of course they're not going to be ready. Anyways, I'll go and drop everything inside and uh, kind of sort out my inventory a little bit. And it is good to be back here. Uh, I am looking at gold sheets, and apparently it's not the gold sheet you need to do uh, uh, anything. You just slap it on the ground. It's like a, a, a beautiful layer of uh, goldness. <laughs> really... I really don't know what to do with that right now, but uh, yeah, let's slap it in here and uh, we'll see what we can do. Now, as for the lime, that is where I'll start working on the leather. Mining bag can go over here for now and uh, we'll go downstairs. It is really dark in this room. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, let's slap this in here for now. At least we have some sort of light. Right now, I'm just gonna go outside and uh, Check out my crop and plant my seeds. Oh, hi. Apparently we got some visitors in here. And it's not cool. Ooh. Well, things are coming along nicely over here in the said garden. But it uh, doesn't seem like anything is uh, just ready yet. I can plant some more flax seed over here. This is going to be a mess. This is uh, pretty much all freaking mix messed up. I just wanted to... Uh, plant stuff and try and keep track of what I'm planting where but this is uh, turning out to be an absolute mess and what I'll need to do is uh, set up another garden a bigger one uh, just a basic one downstairs probably uh, down by the water uh, just a normal one which I usually do because uh, yeah this is going to be all mixed up all the NPK will be messed up hi Hey, what are you doing in here? I never said you could come in my place. I really don't agree. But uh, yeah, these uh, arrows working well. And a temporal gear. Sweet. And in my exploring, I have found around here, first of all, over here, it's uh, pretty much full of resin. This is where I'm getting all my resin for. And just south of that, there is a translocator that I have yet to activate. Now, to activate these, I will need, I think, two or three temporal gears and a couple of metal parts. So, I am storing these gears in here for now. So, first things first, I will need a tanning room. A room where I can do my tanning. And I think... Yeah, I think I might just do it right in here. I could probably open this up quite a bit. So, Rick, uh, yeah, this is going to require a fast forwarding, so go ahead. Well, that is going to give me a little bit of an area. Now, this tunnel is going to probably change. Probably going to make the tanning room uh, go all the way to the wall over here. So let's get ourselves some more granite cobblestone for the floor. And there you go. Uh, two stacks of 64. I think I should have enough. And I'm going to bring this uh, slate rock at the same time to do the base. I think it'll look nice if uh, it matches the blacksmith room. So let's slap those in here. Let's try and do this while I do still have my pickaxe with me. Uh, pickaxe is almost dead. Now, I do not have uh, enough slate to finish the whole room, but at least I can get started. Anywho, let's uh, do the floor. And of course, I'm going to have to bring the ceiling up a little bit, but uh, yeah, I don't think I have enough durability on my pickaxe to be able to finish a job. So let's go ahead and slap a little bit of a conglomerate stone around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is getting awfully dark in here already. And of course, a conglomerate stone, I am going to have to go and fetch some more. Oh, there goes my pickaxe. Oh, dang it. I just had one left. Let's slap it in here. We'll pick it up later. Now, if you want, you can just uh, convert a ingot back into bits. If you don't feel like hammering the god darn thing down. So let's uh, stick that in here. 
What do you mean, will create a crucible? I, that's not what I said. Oh, do I have 200 solidified ingots in there? Oh, there you go. And I will just slap one brown coal in there, and it's going to heat it right up. We'll come back for that a little later. Now what we need are barrels. So let's saw some pine logs. And by pressing H over the pine board, you'll find a barrel over here. Now all we need are sticks. Now I will need a couple of barrels for the job we have. For leather making, you'll, you won't need all that much, but eventually there'll be dyes and uh, all sorts of knickknacks uh, you'll be able to make with the barrels. So for now, I'm gonna go downstairs and slap them down. And there you go. We got some on this side and we'll just slap the rest on the other side. And since we'll be working in here, I'm gonna slap a torch on the wall at least so we can have a little bit of lighting. Now the next things we'll need is a little bit of water. So let's grab this bucket. And we gotta fill all of these barrel with uh, water. And it carries 10 liters at a time, so it'll be a trip, yeah. Usually it's good to have yourselves a little source of water downstairs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right now, I just don't have that. And there you go. There's 50 liters on this one. Now all we gotta do is add a little bit of lime. And by adding 50 lime, this turns into 50 liters of lime water. Let's grab the large hides and let's start slapping some in there. And apparently I can fit all seven in here, so let's seal it. Now this will take 20 in-game hours. So in the meantime, what we can do is start going out and collect some oak. Now I will need two pieces of hay. And with the hay, what we can do is we can make ourselves an armor stand. And that's where I'll be putting the armor piece that I found. Let's slap that right in the corner over here. And let's slap the Forlorn Oak Greaves on there. There you go. Uh, doesn't it look uh, slightly uh, scrap? <laughs> We're going to have to fix that eventually. Now, just for the heck of it, let's kind of check what we need to fix it. Yeah, so we're going to need some iron chains to fix that little thing up. And after that, we're going to need to go through another process, which includes some iron plates and a gold plate to uh, make it become the greaves that they used to be. Restore them to their former glory. So for now, let's slap that pickaxe mold over here. Uh, maybe the fire will have melted it. Oh yeah, uh, right. I gotta pick up the tongs, otherwise I'm going to be burning my hands off. Now, I am going to need another axe as well, so uh, let's make that. And there you go. Slap that down and put those away. All we need is for these to cool down. And while that is cooling down, I think I'm going to go out and find myself an oak tree. Well, there is one. Uh, except it's very, very underwhelming. Uh, I am going to need to do a lot more than that. Yay, I have one piece. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh, look at you guys. How you doing? Well, I have never come here before. It is not too far from where I was just a moment ago. And apparently, we uh, do have a ruin over here. And a couple of uh, orcs, which uh, are freaking stupid. I was here right next to you, and you guys didn't seem to notice me. Here's another one. Hi. Yeah, lie down. Oh, there's another one. This one is peed off. And what is behind it? I think that might be... Is that an oak tree as well? No, that's walnut. You know what? I think I might collect that as well, just for the heck of it. First of all, let's see what these guys were holding. Ooh. Nice. And I'll leave the spear. And another rusty gear. That was cool. I might as well take care of that one while I'm here. More dead orcs. And I'll leave your clothing. And apparently this guy's killed a little wabbit at the same time. Time to see what's in here. A little bit of rice grain. And uh, what type of tools are we talking about? A flint shovel and a knife. You know what? Screw those. It's 
so let's get this walnut log. It's going to be a different colored wood and could be useful for future building. Oh yeah, that's a lot. But still not what we came out to find. That's okay, I'm kind of used to it, me and my squirreling. Okay, not that much bigger, but at least we're talking. Ooh, there you go. Okay, how many am I getting with this? So I got a total of 16, which uh, we only need 15 for the first batch. But while I'm out here, I would like to collect a little bit more if we have some more to do. Well, the sky is uh, clear blue. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, guess the whole bad weather found me again. All right, so here we are back at home. I'm going to put the walnut away. We're going to keep uh, approximately 10 oak logs for now. Now I want to fill up those two barrels as well with 50 liters of water. Whew, I gotta say, who needs a freaking gym when you got stairs? My god, that was a hell of an exercise. Ugh. So what we do from now on is we put five oak logs in each. Now, this will turn into 50 liter of weak tannin after 24 hours of sealing. Let's start that one. And let's do the same thing with this one, except this one, once it's ready, we're going to add another five logs, and it's going to give us some strong tannin. So all we got to do is wait and, uh, yeah, try and avoid this uh, fella as well. He's grumpy. But guys, I believe that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to nudge that little like button, and I will see you next time. So until then, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.